Our people, they always get hurt by man, especially our farmer. When they do farm with tractor, most of them, they will be blown up by man. Szacuje się, że na terenie Kambodży wciąż znajduje się ponad 6 milionów min oraz niewybuchów. Wiele rejonów kraju, zwłaszcza rolniczych, jest odciętych od świata. My name is Kim Mai. I am a tour leader to make a people or visitors coming to know what that we are doing here. I started in Apopo organization one year. In Cambodia, the landmine is very big problem for our people. can see in that hole over there. In that hole we call anti tank. That mine they always plan to protect heavy vehicle that over 200 kg up. That mine is not effect to human because we are not heavy enough to make that mine blow up. And that one from Russia. We have other one here. We call mortar. That mortar they always shoot from the ground and then they have angle or target to kill people out then it's blow. And that one from China. Two of these mines we call anti-personnel and mine. This mine when they blow up, they cannot make you die because this mine they make from plastic cell. When they blow up, only strong air you let off. And that one from Russia. W roku 1999 w Oslo został podpisany traktat Ottawski. Zabrania on używania, produkcji oraz przekazywania min przeciwpiechotnych. Początkowo wiązał on 40 państw. Polska wyraziła ochotę dołączenia już w roku 99, ale ówczesnemu rządowi papierologia zajęła kolejne 14 lat. Polska dołączyła jako 161 państwo. W maju 2019 traktat został ratyfikowany przez 164 państwa. Przyłączenia odmówiła Korea Północna i Południowa, Rosja, Chiny i Stany Zjednoczone. Koszt produkcji jednej miny zaczyna się od 5 dolarów. Koszt jej detonacji to już setki. Organizacja Apopo skutecznie działa, aby pomóc rozminować Kambodżę. For training rat, we have to train them from baby, six weeks after they breed, and then we start train from that time until six to ten months. Also, maybe one year they can go to the field. One rat, they can clear with two or three hour a day. They can make the land free. It's more than 200 square meter a day per rat. And this rat, if we compare with manual metal detector, only 30 minutes with rat, and four days with manual metal detector. So the rat, they can say save life and save time. Na terenie Kambodży pracuje 38 gryzoni saperów. Ich doskonały węch pozwala wykrywać nawet ułamek grama trotylu pod ziemią. Gdy już zostanie on namierzony, szczur zaczyna kopać, a jest to znak dla trenera, żeby sprowadzić go do siebie i nagrodzić przekąską. Saper wraca jednak potwierdzić znalezisko i jeśli zacznie kopać ponownie w tym samym miejscu, czeka go kolejna nagroda po charakterystycznym dźwięku w formie banana. W ten sposób lokacja niebezpiecznego ładunku zostaje potwierdzona. Szczury to stworzenia nocne, więc mogą pracować tylko od 2 do 3 godzin dziennie. Ich skuteczność jednak jest stuprocentowa. The rat can be worth four years more until they get five or five and a half years, they will be get retired. After the rat retire, we don't kill them. We just keep them alive and then feed them until they gone. Because the rat for the food is not expensive. Only two banana and ten peanut enough for one day. That is. In this year, 2019, that we are spent only six months, we completely fell mine field and we make the land free for our people is more than one million square meter. In that time, we found landmine and USO is more than 300, especially our beneficiary is more than 50,000 people. My znamy psich saperów, więc od razu nasuwa się pytanie, jak bardzo jest to niebezpieczne dla zwierząt. One dog, one handler. Sometimes when dog, the handler, they uh, get sick or get holiday, so the dog also stay at home. They cannot work, but the rat is different. We can use rat every day. We can swap handler. And also rat, they are easy to control. Just have click, 
and the, the food is enough. So we can control and use the rat. It's good. The rat, they are too light. They are only 1.2 or 1.3 kilogram. And dog is more than 8 kilograms. So the dog can be make the mind blow up. So the rat, they are too light. The minimum that can make the mind blow up is 3 kilograms. So that's why that we use rat than dog. Since 2016, after that we cleared the land ready, our people, they are very happy to get the land back and freedom with children. They can play and go around with the house and safe than before. This organization is very impressive. It's new experience. Before, I just work at hotel. Apopo organization, it is uh, amazing. They can help our people. Especially, they can make our country develop. So, I cannot have with money, but I can have with my job. can advise to the people to know why did Apopo come here? Why did Apopo try to use rat to make the people safe?